Hello, lovely people. There's nobody yet. There's no one there yet. But there probably will be at some point. If not, we'll just do it to ourselves. But there's two people. Two people. You've got to be proud of two people. <laughs> 21 people. <laughs> you see? 57. Hi, guys. 101. Yeah, we're going to make some delicious food and hopefully give you a recipe that is useful to you lovely people in these very strange times. Um, I'm with my little helper buds because he's a loyal servant. Um, so when we get to a thousand, we'll kick off. Absolutely, I hope you're all right and safe and healthy. And um, I hope you're all going to take part in the clap to the NHS and carers at eight o'clock tonight. We're going to do that. So lovely people, you ready for this? Okay, so this, my friends, is... Um, <laughs> we, haven't even, we haven't done the video yet. Um, we, this is a beautiful homemade soda bread, okay? This came out of the oven about 10 minutes ago. It's very beautiful. Let me show you. This is a bread, look, if you have a look, hollow sounding, just beautiful, okay? So we're gonna make this. I promise you, I have the simplest recipe that you will find on the internet, okay? So I've got a couple of recipes at jamieoliver.com and they're very delicious. But in times like this, I think we need more simplicity. So I'm gonna make it first, and then Buddy's gonna make a batch. So Buddy is gonna concentrate. Uh, and guys, uh, both me and Buddy, we send you all of our love. I know it's such weird times, but it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right, gonna get through this. Uh, and it's an amazing time to reflect. Um, <laughs> today's been a nightmare, just having family with the kids for a day and working is quite hard, juggling the two. But um, we've got a few things to do, fun things to do later after we've done this. So look, um, this is the sourdough loaf that we're gonna make, delicious. So whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, brunch, whether it's toasting it thereafter, it's, it took me one and a half minutes to make and about 15, 20 minutes in the oven, right? It's that, you can do it for breakfast. Imagine the smell in these annoyingly awful times, right? Imagine the smell of homemade bread in the morning. Hot, you know, jam, butter, <gasps> little bacon sandwich. <sighs> so we can do it, right? Homemade, so beautiful. Here's some little small ones, right? Which will just, you know, these will just open up and they're really, really, you know, you can see how hot they are. They're steaming hot. And these are just easy, happy-go-lucky little sort of, um, Rolls, scony type. So let's, let's get on with this, lovely people. Uh, we've got five and a half thousand people, give or take. So let me just tell you, before we get on to the easiest recipe, by the way, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rush this out. I wanna take my time. Uh, I wanna try and answer some questions from you lovely people. There's people from all around the world sending in comments. So bless you both. So I wanna tell you where I came from. And also, kind of a little bit of a and insight how to my brain works. Like, so being a dyslexic boy, um, I kind of look at things differently. Um, so practically, physically, mentally, uh, like that's how I look at my job, whenever I address something. So when I came up with this recipe, uh, there's nothing genius about it. It's a straightforward, delicious um, soda bread um, that many countries do. Obviously, Irish soda bread is a very famous one. Um, but I started using the scales, and I have to be honest, even as a chef, it started getting on my nerves. It started get, just because I have to start applying myself into, oh, go, here we go again, right? I've got to weigh everything, count everything, and I think I'm just too impatient for that. So, what I've done is get rid of the scales, right? And um, what I've done is give you the best recipe that you could dream of. So, the one thing that I knew you people all around the world would have is what do you love um, with um, what's one of your favorite things in a tin um, uh. you failed the game buddy baked beans it's not in there now so i knew you'd have like a tin at home you can sit on my lap if you want to um look it's so easy this recipe you can even you can even have <laughs> peaches you can even have kids on your lap and you do it right so I know that you've got loads of tins in your home, right? So get rid of the scales. Forget the stress of weighing stuff out. Let's, let's go cup style, tin style. So what we're gonna do is just grab me um, uh, 
some standard white flour. Now, I've got one tin of standard plain flour, okay? So we've got this going in. So just fill it up to the top, shake it flat. So one tin of your plain flour. Then, excuse me little buds, um, I have some whole, uh, uh, whole grain flour. So bear with me lovely people. Good. So I've got some whole grain flour. Now obviously the whole grain flour is using the whole grain and uh, therefore it's got more fibre, more nutrition and more flavour. Okay, so uh, just a little conversation about sort of fibre at the moment. Um, we are talking, a lot of people are talking about what's the perfect diet to kind of make you, you know, bust COVID-19. Look, I, a regular, good, balanced diet of, you know, fruits and veggies, uh, more fibre the better. Um, this is what's going to look after your immune system, right? So good, solid, everyday, balanced diet. So if you've got a fella or a missus or a kid that just won't have enough fruit or veggies, then you've got to find clever ways to get it in them, right? So um, that's, that's one thing. So we've got a blend of the, the whole wheat flour, whole grain flour, one tin, plain flour, one tin, and then, classically, you'd have buttermilk. And I bet most people in Britain can't find buttermilk at the moment. So you can swap out milk. With lemon. Oh, you can put lemon in it if you want. If you put lemon in the milk, that's, where did you get that idea from? I did it at school. Good lad. So if you put a little squeeze of lemon in there, you essentially make your own buttermilk, give or take. Um, and it'll start to sort of break down uh, the milk. Um, I find that milk works really, really well as a swap out, um, but you don't get the acidity. Um, and even uh, yoghurt or milk and yoghurt. But essentially, as long as the wet stuff is one tin, that's the basic structure of the recipe, right? You got that? Is that or is that not the simplest recipe ever? So one tin of white flour, one tin of whole grain flour, one tin of milk, uh, a generous pinch of salt to season the flour. Uh, if you wish, uh, a little teaspoon of honey or sugar, just a little one, uh, I prefer honey. And of course the leavening agent, the rising agent, is going to be bicarbonate of soda. So um, as I'm sure I haven't got a teaspoon so I'm going to guess it. Um, so two teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda. So the simplest recipe. And, and even for you great cooks out there that are probably watching this thinking, well, you know, like it, this is a recipe that you can do that has all the love and care in the world, but also you don't have to get the scale down. I think for parents out there with all these lovely kids around, um, like you don't want to completely break your kitchen and cover it in like rubbish, right? So um, we're going to mix this up. Let's have a little mix up, nice and slowly to start with. So it will look and feel like a batter. Now, what's genius about this recipe is it's not only a one tin method, which means every single one of you can have a go at this and have the joy and the smell of this beautiful bread. Um, and bearing in mind, you can turn this bread around in 20 minutes, right? So if you've kind of got the munchies, you're thinking, oh, what can I do? You can knock it out really quickly. Um, uh, it's a slightly wet dough, right? And that's the trick, in my opinion, with these types of bread, like a, sour, a, 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 like a soda bread. If you make it too, too dry, it, can, it will be dry. So the genius here, and the genius about the one tin method, is um, controlling the moisture. So I'll teach that. So Bud's is kind of like amping up the mixture now. He's sort of, it's getting quite firm. By the way, there's a little pimp that I love to do, uh, which, which just puts more good stuff in there. And that's some porridge oats. Um, just a handful, right? Just a handful of porridge oats. Gives you that nice little bite and a bit of texture. So look, you can see it come together like this. So you, you can see it's quite wet, guys, yeah? Don't be afraid of that. And if you feel it's too, too wet, just have a little bit more flour, it's not the end of the world, but it's pretty much bang on. So as you start to, yeah, there's still more flour in the bottom, you see, so it's drying out as we speak. Go right to the bottom. So we'll now go 
onto a table and I'm not really going to need it for very long. So, buddy, can you recite to all the people, we've got, how many, we've got 6,000 people watching, can you tell them what the ingredients are? This is your test, because um, you're not at school now, so. Plain flour, whole grain. Ah. Oh. Um, Hold it up, brother, be proud. A tin of plain flour, a tin of um, whole grain flour, a pinch of salt, um, honey or sugar if you want. Good lad. How much? Uh, a teaspoon. Good lad. Um, a teaspoon of baking soda. Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of baking, baking powder and a, a powder and um, a handful of porridge oats. Optional. Ice. Now, the, I, I, I think it, it's probably likely that you've got porridge at home. So look, you can see the dough coming together. The genius is it's not too dry, right? So you wanna move it around, you wanna knead it a little bit, and you'll see it when it needs start to stick. And that's okay, you can just take a little bit of flour and just sort of dry, dry the surface. But that's basically it, you lovely people. So that's your dough. And it's worth making it just a little drier. It's worth it. Oh, sorry, let me take that back. I said the opposite thing. It's worth making it a little wetter, okay? So we have the dough here like this. What we would normally do is just get ourselves a little tray, a little flour. We'll put that in there like that. Now what you can do at this point is Give it a little lubrication with some olive oil or butter, melted. Um, or you can even brush it with some eggs, but I think you guys are going to be a little bit more um, uh, careful about your egg use at the moment. I will give it a little dust of, no, not flour. If you've got the porridge oats, it's quite nice to remind them of that. So just a little bit of that on top. And then get the knife, go down. Okay, quite deep, nearly all the way through. So that's it. Raw one, cooked one. Okay, so this, the genius of this lovely people is you don't need, you don't need to prove it like a standard bread. You don't have to rest it, right? If you did want to make it the day before, the activation of the bicarbonate of soda, right? The activation of that does not happen until it hits heat, okay? So if all the ingredients are cold, you're fine. So you can make this tonight, you can pop it in the fridge, and then bang it in the oven first thing in the morning. Booyaka! Um, so that's nice. But remember, this is kind of the beginning of the narrative, okay? So, Bugs, if you can go and put that in the fridge for tomorrow, because there's no point in wasting it, right? Pop that in the fridge, my darling. Um, we're gonna make another batch just to kind of work through this. So here it is, lovely people. Next time you open your fruit, next time you uh, do your, your baked beans, give it a rinse out, take the label off, and that is your measure. One cup of plain flour, one cup of whole grain flour, um, one cup of milk, um, or a blend of milk and yogurt. Have a, um, the, the, the good uh, little teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of honey, and two teaspoons of baking powder. Buddy, over to you, my friend. I'm gonna put this lovely loaf here um, at a slight angle uh, as a reminder of our good work. Let's use one of these. Look at that. You're sacrificing your bread. I'm not sacrificing my bread. Okay, so Bud, you're now gonna present your version, right? Just to show everyone and all the kids out there that they can do this for mummy or daddy. So, you won't forget, because I just taught you, and you just taught them, and you were absolutely bang on. So, let's get you some extra flour. So, entertain, entertain them while you're there. <laughs> okay. So that's the whole thing. Thank you. Tell them what's going in. In order now, no, but good question. Okay, a wheat bowl first. One tin. Okay. 
Keep telling them about the tin, brother. That's what makes it simple. And then okay? we have... Um... Go for it. A tin of plain flour, plain white flour. Good lad. Mix it together. Go for it. Tin of milk. Slightly under a tin there, but you know. We'll let you get away with that. We can fix that if need be. Okay. Good lad. Yeah. I'm going to mix that together. Do you like this because Dad's cleaning down after you again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you want to add the sugar and the salt, my friend? Yeah. Sugar. So it's important to add the sugar and the salt before you get it too dry. So a nice generous pinch of salt. If you don't see it with salt, it'll just be as it'll like be eating air. You won't need all of that, just like that. Yeah, good lad. There you go. Perfect. So let's answer some questions while these guys. You carry on, my friend. And call me if you need me, I'm gonna go around because Oh oh what about the porridge oats? Should we do a little handful? Should we keep these should we keep these three of them? Yeah. Yes, yeah. okay. You really love porridge. Right, let's answer some questions. Right, you lovely people. Can you use light buttermilk? Yes you can. And you can use buttermilk, of course. Uh, what did they just oh excuse me, I'm just banging everything. It's hard to control. Right. I uh, had no burger rolls last night, so made my own. Last two were turned into pizza. And that's from Atty. Nice job. Can I use good. Some yeah, of course you can. Bit dry. But well, before you add that, just check. That looks pretty good to me. No, no, you're good, son. You're good. You're good. No, trust the recipe. Trust the recipe. Um, you're all right. So look, move that onto here now. And you've got all this to go on top. It has to be one of the easiest breads on the planet. Oh, it's quite wet. That's all right. But kind of make, if you, you don't want to stick to your fingers, so get all of that flour out. And just kind of move it around with your palms. And I'll give you a little extra flour just to dust with if your hands get sticky. Go on, my son. That's it. So don't, don't move it too much, just kind of keep it quite light. So if you knead too deep into it, you're going to expose the moisture and then you're going to get sticky. So just kind of almost just move it, roll it. Go on. Right, let's answer some questions from these dear people. Love the soda bread. Mum used to make this when she was little. God, there's so many questions coming in. It's amazing. Uh, this is showing the benefits of kids learning to cook. Absolutely. Marco. Can we use yeast instead of baking soda? Uh, yeah, you can. But then um, it wouldn't be baking, then it wouldn't be soda bread, it would be bread. But yes, uh, to one kilo of um, flour, use one sachet, seven grams of yeast and about 600 mils of water. Um, so when do you put the soda, when do you put the soda and how much of it? We, um, so two teaspoons of soda, guys, two teaspoons of soda. What's the difference between soda bread and Baking, uh, baking soda, bicarb soda, just basically bicarb is just a different raising agent. Um, bicarbonate of soda is, does a similar job, which is create, you know, essentially raising. But um, I would go for the, uh, the bicarb of soda for this one. Or if you've got self-raising, if you've got self-raising uh, wholemeal flour and or self-raising white flour, you can use that instead with pretty good results. Pretty, pretty good results. Right, buddy, that's really good. So if I may, I'll go back to answering some questions in a second. Just go and give that a little rub out of that tin, my darling. Okay. Yeah, so look, we've done this loaf here that you can see, which is very beautiful. And then, just to show you that it's a platform for you to be creative, 
Um, look, that's just a standard little, it's nothing special, but you, you can cut it and shape it any way you like, but you can also flavour it any way you like. So, but what's quite nice here is when I'm doing these recipes, I'm trying to simplify them to make them really easy for you guys at home. And also there's a lot of people that don't cook, that haven't cooked before, that are joining the fray and the conversation. And by the way, if you're watching this, please share it on your social media platforms just so you can share it with your friends. Any of your friends that think, think could do with a little bit of a help, just share it so they get to watch it as well. So we've made the traditional loaf. Um, what we can do now is sort of roll it out. So I can't quite see what's going on. Let's just move that for a second so you can see what's going on on the dance floor. So what we can do here is we could use a rolling pin, but we actually don't need one. We can just push it out like this. So Bud, if you can push this out to about an inch thick, my son. So uh, when I'm writing these recipes for you guys, I'm trying, because I know there's a lot of people that haven't cooked before and a lot of kids getting involved um, and you might not have all the equipment. So um, you could use a rolling pin easy, um, you could use one of those, but actually you can see that just using your hands, why use a piece of equipment if you don't need it? So we'll push this out to about an inch thick. How much is it? And then what you could do, if you just grab that for me, Buzz, um, I could go and get a cookie cutter and um, cut out the um, shape that you want, but, but we're not going to do that, because we're trying to help these lovely people. We're going to use the tin again, right? So what we can do is now Buddy's got this to an inch. If you push this on here, and by the way, you'll see some milk going in there, that's fine because that can be part of the glaze. Um, push down like that, all the way to the bottom, but also you've compressed the air and you can just lob that straight out, easy. So you can use that as your cutter, like that. Make sure you lube up. Oh, by the way, when we're talking about lubrication, everybody, um, these, I never thought I'd ever say this, and I'm not paid for this at all. Um, Philip Ibero, that I've got nothing to do with, have this spray oil, which is blooming brilliant. Uh, and it just means you get a really even distribution. I mean, of course you can just dribble it on, and but sometimes when you're taking things out of the oven and you want to give them a little sort of glaze, it's quite handy. Uh, that, I've never really said things like that, but it's blooming useful. So there's my one. But go on, you have a go, my friend. And these are quite, again, you're just using the tin to be your best friend, really. And of course, once we finish with the tin, just put it in the dishwasher or wash it up and we'll keep it. Good lad. Um, yeah, do one more. And then we'll have another little play with these lovely people. So um, what's quite nice is, is uh, um, anyone that's just joined, because I can see new people have joined. Um, thanks, Batch. Um, uh, welcome, we're just making soda bread, so once I finish this video, we'll repost it and you guys can watch it from the start. Um, basically, it's the simplest soda bread recipe in the world. One tin of plain flour, one tin of whole grain flour, one tin of milk, a good pinch of salt, a teaspoon of honey and two teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda. Yes, you can swap it out for white and brown self-raising flour if you have it. Uh, you just mix it up. Um, we've made this beautiful loaf here. Sorry to have a little refresh everyone. This is the loaf we've made. Um, Buddy's made a batch. I've made a batch. He's now turned his dough into these beautiful little rolls. And just to kind of give you a sense of fun, so you can own it and make this recipe your own, um, me and Buds are going to roll this out and... Make shapes. We could make shapes. Um, and I'll give you some to make. You can have the leftovers for shapes. Bless you. Um, <laughs> kids love to make shades. Um, what we could do is just push this out and we could flavour it. And you could almost make like a breakfast. Um, you know, a lot of people who love a croissant or a pan au chocolat, right? Um, at getting some of that stuff in this environment with the supermarket sold out stuff, forget it, right? So again, what I'm trying to do is give you little excuses and platforms to build in little bits of fun with your kids and have guaranteed recipes that work, and also um, be experimental, and also just kind of feel like you're turning this negative time um, into something positive. Um, I think the dinner table is a beautiful thing for that. Um, so, but 
Why don't you do this, my darling? Because I'm Dad, sort of, yeah. I was going to say, I saw a lot of people say, you forgot to say, when, when you said it again, yeah. you forgot to say the soda. Did I? When did you say that? A lot of people said it. Did you say it then? Yeah. See, I can't see it because my eyes are gone. Why did you not tell me? Because I couldn't see us reading. Well, I, I've said it about ten times. So what are you trying to say? You did the recipe better than me. Yeah. <laughs> you probably did. So yes, two teaspoons. I, I just said two teaspoons of soda. Was that the time before? Yeah. Okay. Roll away, son. Yeah, well, next time, tell me, and then I don't have to make a plonker of myself. <laughs> this live cooking malarkey is not as easy as it was all made out to be. So, due to the panic, I can't buy flour here in Aust Aust Australia. Yeah, I know, the panic buying's a nightmare. Um, hello from Chicago. Gluten-free. Yeah, we've got gluten-free versions. Um, go to Jane. A any recipes you want, guys. There are thousands of recipes for all types of people, veggie, vegan, gluten-free, um, uh, on jamieoliver.com. They're all free, so fill your boots. Sun-dried tomatoes, basil would also be nice in that, and that's from Cal Cole. Very nice, I love that. So that, this is a really, guys, give me your combinations. This is good, because Cal or Cole just set the stall out very well um, by saying he likes to flavor his. So think of things that you love. So it could be like, you could have in there like some spring onions, cheese and onions, cheese and onion crisps, cheese and onion little sort of, you know, you could put that through the mix or you could stuff it into the middle. Um, you can have fun with it. We're, what we want to do now with this is try and create something a bit more breakfasty. Um, and any ripe bananas, um, you could use things like uh, Nutella, not that there's much nuts in it, um, but everyone seems to love it, which is good. Um, Nutella. No, not a Nutella pancake. Nutella pancake. A Nutella pizza. Did you have a Nutella pizza? With marshmallows. With marshmallows? <laughs> yeah. Who did that? Me. Oh, there you go. That'll get your sugar going. So look, um, get this nice and thin, like that. And um, it's about half a centimetre thick. I would then, but is there any butter? Can you go and grab some butter yeah. from somewhere? Hi guys, I hope you're all well. Sorry, and these, these like live things are kind of fun, right? They're just, I'm trying to keep up with um, Mediterranean style breakfast bread is amazing. Um, oh yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, that's from another book. I can't remember what book it is, book two, I think. I bake sourdough, but I'm gonna try this one too. Yeah, sourdough is like for the dons, right? That is like the ultimate. That's natural yeast, fully fermented doughs. Um, is that moist? I said, excuse fingers guys, but you know, we're live, so we've got uh, little nuggets of butter. So um, we're going to get on. So think about the butter you'd normally put on toast. We'll put that in our little sour, um, soda bread here. Um, but we go and raid Mum's stash of chocolate and get me a bar of her chocolate. Just don't, for whatever, whatever you say, do not tell her I've taken it. She, don't, she won't watch this as well. Um, so you can stud this with basically butter. You can stud it with um, chocolate. Uh, nice chocolate, cheap old nasty chocolate, to fill your boots. Mate, we're in lockdown, do what you like. Most bets are off. Um, and you can put some crushed nuts in there. Um, chocolate, chocolate orange. Which one? Um, mint, ah, oh, right. Ah. This is not product placement, by the way. So uh, this is Jules's stash of roasted hazelnut. So. You won't hate it when you put it in your mouth. Oh, it's really... Alright, son. Alright, take it easy. <laughs> so, um, Buddy's very good stealing. Um, let's just take half of it, otherwise she might... She might. So, uh, we'll put the chocolate in, but go on, just place this around. So, yeah, if you think like combinations, so chocolate and nuts, chocolate hazelnuts, because that's the flavour anyway. Are you eating it? <laughs> <laughs> Job River's not here, he'd go mad. My youngest son, River, is three and a half, and he's literally... A monster. If anyone's ever seen the film Seed of Chucky, then um, <laughs> that's basically Can real. I watch it? No, you can't watch it. Um, so it's quite nice if you break up the chocolate small, just because we're going to roll it up. Um, but there's no rules here. Essentially, we're trying to just like create a flavour. 
So we've got butter in there, you've got chocolate and nut, I think that's probably enough. It's all gonna melt and go oozy. Um, if there wasn't nuts in that chocolate, you just think about combos that you like. So if it's like orange, just a little bit of orange zest off a grater. Makes, it sounds like the tiniest little bit. Just roll that up, Sam. Makes all the difference. So Whatever. we're now going to massage it into shape. Can we like get the edges? The, the butter will melt in between it. So let's cut it into half, quarters, and then what, what you can do, just place them upside down here. Now what we'll do is we'll... Pudding. No, you might have been this for pudding. We'll have this for breakfast in the morning. So once you put them in there, just push them down. Can you see this? Guys? Sorry, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So just push it down. Come on, you do, you do it, buds. It's like a cinnamon roll kind of thing. It's kind of like a cinnamon roll, right? So put it in. You can see you've got the swirls in there. Chocolate, hazelnuts. Come on, boy. Nice. <gasps> and, missing. And these are the ends. Now I've got two here. Let's just move these along. So there we go, lovely people. We have a loaf that's gone in the oven, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, we're in the fridge. fridge. So go and put these in the fridge as well. What you can do here, guys, is you can brush these with uh, eggs, but you probably won't waste eggs at the moment. Um, a little olive oil or butter, delicious. Um, obviously, you've got the, the chocolate here will melt. Um, they will kind of rise up into these, hot and fluffy, crisp on the outside, soft and intense. You can put those in the fridge, darling boy. So that's it. Let me have a little look at what's going on here. Because if I, if I haven't, if I'm really honest. Um, so here we go. That's the original there. Sourdough. Beautiful. George, are you going to come and say hello? Come on then. Um, let's just go. Yeah, my wife's coming in. Um, No, 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 but I think Buddy got some for um, Do you want to see this, uh, uh, this lovely soda bread? Mm. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> do you want to say hello? Let it go, there you go. My wife. Uh, Let me go in the middle. I'm fudge ruining it. Where is the youngest one? I don't know, he's watching TV, it's fine. Thank God for that, okay. We will try and do one with River at some stage, but cooking with three and a half year olds, especially River, is an interesting phenomenon. Uh, Buddy's going to take this opportunity to say sorry for stealing her chocolate. Sorry. He just did actually very, he said it very quietly. Um, can I do you a little slice? Yes. A little bit of butter? Can I have a scoop? Uh, we'll do this one. Yeah, go on, you try a bit of cake, because I've got deep dinner now, so you have a small slice. Okay. <laughs> Still seeming? Are you still controlling? Are you still on a Gina Ford? <laughs> What's your problem? Why are you laughing? What, what are you laughing about? Uh, this whole thing is quite stressful, isn't it? What, going live? Or just being yeah, locked down? Oh, tell everyone how you're doing with coronavirus lockdown. Everything. How I'm doing? Yeah. It's pretty stressful actually. Yes, we got past the pest in home. Actually, this is your one, George. What? Yeah, okay. eat live on telly. Let's, <laughs> let's get this because because if you you know you washed your hands. Yes, I've washed my hands. I'm done happy birthday three times. By the way, who's else? Who else's hands are getting red raw? Gee whiz. Yeah, so bad. How nice is that, Mum? Are you, not, are, you, are you failing to No, it's like my favourite, so. I heard her say it's really nice. Oh, it's yes. um, so listen, that's it from the Olivers. I can't, I can't see the comments, but they could be awful. The comments could be awful, but how can they be awful? We're giving them a bit of love. Okay. I've given them the easiest uh, soda bread recipe on the planet. Don't even worry about the scales. 
Um, go on, you read out, read out some comments, Jill. Hi, buddy. Uh, to be honest, the only reason I haven't been reading out some comments is because my eyes, mm, I'm, I'm, it's all blurry to me, so I'm like, getting old. Hi from the Philippines, bud. Hey, Philippines! It's nice. Hi. Uh, where can I watch this from the start? Uh, I'm gonna, as soon as this finishes, I'll repost it, and you'll see it on my Facebook page. It'll be the latest video that's gone up. And uh, we've done pretty well. We've maintained about five to 6,000 people all the way through. Mm. People come, people go, people from all around the world. Um, Perhaps next time through. you could, um, oh, that's it. There you go. Next time you could just, I could just do it for you. There you go, look. <laughs> Hello to everyone. Please say it's, to everyone that it's no need to buy lots and be, oh, is that okay? Yeah, what, Don't um, be selfish Fran and feel food. <laughs> Francesca says, Conti. It says, to everyone that is no need to, to buy lots and be selfish. Let also the nurses find something to buy. Absolutely. Why is everyone Bless doing you. that? When they finish working, Francesca from Italy. Yeah, to there right. you go. Works. Anyway. Um, tonight in the UK. Oh, look. Yeah. Janice, thanks for keeping me company. Oh, bless you, Janice. Oh, that's nice. Who's Janice? Janice, oh, Janice. Well, she's watching it from home. I don't know where she's from. It's always nice when say. you say where you're from, guys, because it just like, gives us a little bit of an idea. Oh. Oven temperature, Jamie? Have done that oh, one? no, no, I haven't. She, like, they're so right. So basically, I whacked that in the oven um, at 200 degrees Celsius. Um, I'm so sorry I didn't say. But I, Time? How long for? I did say 20 minutes the first time okay. around. Okay. Because I'm not dramatic. Hello Maybe from New Zealand. Like me when I got scammed. So, um, basically... better than your tape shows. Huh? Well, then you should just stay at home and do these and never have to go out again. <laughs> Um, yeah, Can okay, you... I'm gonna, before I sign off, I'm going to re review it again. One tin of white flour, one tin of whole grain flour, one tin of milk, um, a good pinch of salt, a good pinch, a teaspoon of honey, two teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda. Um, we're going to mix it all up. Um, that's probably the kids on the, in, in, on the internet. Um, mix it up, flour as you go, um, do what you want with it, and it goes into an oven at 200 degrees Celsius, so quite hot. Um, for about 20 minutes, but it all depends on the size of the bread. If it's a thinner bread, you know, um, it's less. Anyway, love you and leave you. You are the best. I wish you all well. Take care. Be safe. Look after yourselves.